33,000 people die in Europe every year from untreated infections caused by antibiotic-resistant bacteria. This number could increase tenfold by 2050. By then, antibiotic resistance will have surpassed cancer as the second biggest cause of death worldwide. Without effective antibiotics, we could return to a pre-antibiotic era where infections from surgeries, cancer treatments, even simple infections really, would no longer be possible to treat. We can also acquire antibiotic resistant bacteria from eating meat from animals that have been treated with antibiotics or by being exposed to contaminated water. Antibiotic resistance also impacts livestock, agriculture and food production, causing a serious economic burden that costs the EU 1.5 billion euro per year. To tackle antibiotic resistance, we need collaboration and coordination across all sectors. And the One Health approach is one way to do it. The One Health approach recognizes that the health of humans, animals, plants and the environment are completely interconnected and interdependent. To address the issue of antimicrobial resistance, we have to work together with human health practitioners, with practitioners who work in agriculture, who work in veterinary medicine, and who work in the environment. We have to work holding hands so that we can address this problem as one. The EU has banned the use of antibiotics in animal feed and aims to reduce by 50% by 2030 the overall EU sales of antibiotics in animals. The European Commission has adopted the EU One Health Action Plan to combat antibiotic resistance. In cooperation with the European Medicines Agency, the European Food Safety Agency and the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control, it aims to raise the awareness of medical experts and EU citizens alike, to coordinate a EU response to prevent and control antibiotic usage in humans, animals and the environment, and to boost research on new vaccines, medicines and treatments. As we redesign our health priorities, we need to keep in mind that we live in a closed system and we should seek new ways to co-advance the health of humans, animals, plants and the environment. Because if we act and we create health issues in one of these sectors, this will inevitably affect one of the other sectors. Bacteria have no borders. That is why the EU develops strong bilateral partnerships for international cooperation, such as working closely with the World Health Organization to implement a global action plan against antibiotic resistance. We need to work together as a community of scientists, as a community of stakeholders, and as a community of people that understand that this problem needs to be fixed and needs to be fixed sooner rather than later. Thank you.